Hello everyone, and welcome to my item loadout guide. This is the guide I wish I could have watched myself almost 3,000 hours of gameplay ago, since it turns out a proper understanding of the items can make your life as a hunter very easy. And it's just a matter of what you know. So I have a lot to share, not just from my understanding of what each item does, but also from my heavy amount of player experience that informs me how to get the most out of my loadouts without feeling bogged down in unnecessary details. When it comes to an item loadout, there are some key ingredients you're always going to want to bring, and that's where we're going to start. Let's grab an empty loadout and I'll fill it out with the generics. Starting with the Power Charm, Power Talon, Armor Charm, and Armor Talon. What the heck are these guys? They're a permanent boost to your attack and defense that you get just for having them in your item loadout. So from now on, you're never going to leave without these. To be specific, you're going to receive 15 more attack with the Power Charm and the Power Talon. That's mostly what we're interested in. They're easy to obtain as well. Purchase one set of Power Charm and Armor Charm from the merchant, craft them into the Talon versions of themselves, and then go back and repurchase the Power Charm and the Armor Charm, and then you're done. You've probably seen these in my inventory before if you've seen my live streams. Now we need to fill everything else out. Here's a question for you. What do you think is better for healing? Mega Potion or Max Potion? The answer is Max Potion by a lot because it heals everything in one bite. But the problem is that you only get to bring two of these at a time and you probably ate one of your max potions at the start of the match in order to fill out your health bar, which leaves you with only one max potions. So what do you do? Easy, you're going to add five mega nutrients and five mandragoras to your build. This lets you craft five more max potions without having to go back to the camp for more. This is one of the biggest improvements to anybody's item loadout that you could possibly make. It was one of my favorite improvements when I finally discovered it. What else is essential to your loadout? Not a lot actually. With seven max potions and 10 mega potions, your loadout is going to do a great job keeping you alive, so you're already in good shape. But let's throw in a far caster, which is going to let you restock at camp even in the middle of the fight. So a, a far caster, you basically use this even though the monster is aggroed to you and you've got the red ring around your map and you can't just open your map and leave back to camp, you can use a far caster and this automatically sends you back. At this point, you now have the most essential items of a loadout, but let's not stop there. We don't want to just survive, we want to flourish. Let's go ahead and grab two mega barrel bombs. These are going to be used on the monster when it goes to sleep in its nest at the end of the fight. Then. Grab two Large Barrel Bombs and two Devil's Blight. These let you craft an extra set of Mega Barrel Bombs, which you can use in case the monster goes to sleep twice in the fight, which actually happens a lot. In fact, there's a way for you to set up for even more Mega Barrel Bombs to be made. You just need Gunpowder and Large Barrels to be added as well. And bring those Devil's Blights up to 10. We'll talk more about that when we talk about a Kul'v Tarot loadout. So, uh, especially if you brought the Palico Band Ball when you're playing with your Palico, or you have a teammate who's using like a bow gun, you can expect the monster to go to sleep once, twice, three times in the fight. And this is why having extra mega barrel bombs with your loadout is a very good idea. But what about flash pots? You probably know monsters can be flashed to interrupt a powerful move or to drop them out of the sky. So let's throw in three flash pods and 10 flash bugs, which we can use for crafting more flash pods. One of my latest discoveries about item loadouts that I've been wanting to bring more attention to is just how effective life powders are, right? Like, I've always known they could heal my teammates, but things changed when I learned how to craft them mid-fight with the radio menu, and my approval of them shot way up. Notice how you can only add three life powders at a time, which was the main reason I didn't think much about them. You just kind of run out too quickly. Now, underneath the life powders, we're gonna add 10 god bugs and 10 blue mushrooms. It turns out these can be used to craft 10 more life powders, and you're going to want to stick around for the part of the guide where I discuss radial menu tricks, because there's some important information to know about the radial menu that also doesn't get talked about enough in my opinion, and life powders will be a part of that discussion. So check it out. We've got heals, we've got team heals, 
we've got flash pods, we've got mega barrel bombs for wake ups and more ingredients for more mega barrel bombs, and a far caster that lets you jump back to camp in an instant to restock all of this. But we aren't done. There's one more important.